Good day everyone and welcome to the first Monkey Kid review. Today we're going to be doing set 80006. The White Dragon Horse Spike contains 259 pieces, ages 6 plus, and contains 4 bloody minifigures. Um, so, Monkey Kid. Fascinating. Looked really cool from the second I saw like the leaked images and whatnot. Honestly, when I saw the minifigures being leaked, I thought they were from some new weird upcoming Ninjago theme, but then Monkey Kid. Um, little did we know that that CMF minifigure of the Monkey King was actually a precursor to the Monkey Kid line. What a twist! What a twist indeed! So Monkey Kid very obviously is to China what Ninjago is to Japan. And surely this is going to be yet another valiant effort to replace the beloved Ninjago so that they can finally move on with something different. Seems that Hidden Side was something of a bust, so looks like they're taking a different route with it and they're going straight back to Asia with some Monkey Kid. Um, I was originally planning on just getting the giant monkey mech and the boat, because I just, I wanted all of, like, the main cast of characters, but I've decided to take it a little slow, take it a little bit more methodically, you know? Decided that instead I would just start off with the smallest set and go from there, and the smallest set is $50, but it's 259 pieces. If my calculations are correct, then that would mean that it was $40 US, so that price for piece ain't too good. Um, so already it's got that going against it, but I'll cease with my blatherings and we'll get right into the minifigures. <laughs> so first up, we got two of the ironclad henchmen. We've got Snort and Bob, however on Bricklink they are the same minifigure. Um, Snort here, who's got both horns facing up, has got this weapon right here. A Nexonite's piece on, like a hilt. Great. Um, these ironclad henchmen are interesting. I don't particularly care for them, but I don't entirely dislike them. Last night I made this set with Rob, and he absolutely despises these henchmen. He thinks that they're just like... <laughs> aesthetic monstrosities, and I honestly wouldn't take it that far, although I'm, while I kind of like this, um, with like the magenta and then like the bit of yellow goldish sort of color that we got on the torso and like the ring right there and then mixed with the gunmetal, I think that's unique, we've never really seen that color scheme before, I don't really mind it. What irks me is the introduction of the orange, and the orange is a lot more present on their build. And that's honestly the part where that kind of has me irked. I don't really care for how they've tried to integrate orange into this already established three color and unique three color aesthetic. As far as a grunt goes, um, for these ironclad henchmen, I don't have any very strong feelings towards them. Um, it's not particularly good, but it's not particularly bad either. It's kind of creative in the way that they've made it like a bull. They got like the new helmet mold right here, as you can see, and then like the trans orange head underneath. Um, yeah, but like there's no leg printing, which kind of stinks. I don't know. A, like a, a, a part of how I like to appraise stuff like this is I ask myself that if this were like a grunt villain in something like Ninjago, per se, would I be disappointed? And kinda? Like, I don't know. I don't really know what it is. It's clearly drawing off of some Chinese myth that I'm unaware of, but just as someone, as an outsider looking in, it's not particularly good. Is it like atrocious? No, like the color scheme is unique and I kinda like the whole bowl thing. Um having villains that are bull-based goes way back um, for Lego, 
So it's kind of nice to see something of a resurgence of uh, that type of antagonist, but I I don't know, just they're they're not great, but you know, I think as far as first wave villains go, it could be worse than this, but I'm not wowed. Um, yeah. So then we got Bob right here. And he's the exact same, just one of his horns is turned down, and he's got a hammer. Honestly, I think they look better with... I think this one looks better with the hammer than that one does with the big, goofy, trans-orange weapon. Um, then we have Monkey Kid right here, who is a very impressive minifigure. Firstly, uh, first, firstly off, first off, he's got his Monkey Kid stick thing right here. Um, with these new sort of lightsaber hilt-esque pieces on either end. I really hope that they make one of these like a nice um, silvery piece and make it for Darth Maul's next lightsaber hilt. I think that would be really good. It's what we've been wanting for so long. Honestly, if you look in the original um, LEGO Star Wars video game, Darth Maul actually has a hilt that looks quite similar to this. Um... But the minifigure didn't have a hilt similar to this, so it would be really cool if in the next Darth Maul we got this, but in silver. Monkey Kid himself is a very cool minifigure. He's got a lot of character and he's got a lot of personality. As you can see, he's got his really nice dual molded side leg printed, toe printed legs. Very nice with like the shoes. He got the Yeezys. Um, he's got like the stripe on the side. He's got the little logo down there. He's got his little chain with his keys and the little sort of like monkey kid cloud thing that seems to be a motif in this theme. Um, he's got his yellow jacket right there, which is quite nice. I, I like the sort of Asian symbol just slapped on there. Don't know what it means. It it's just fitting. And then he's got like the monkey face on the back, which is also quite nice. He's got the really nice bandana around the hair, which is really quite nice. He's got the little symbol on there. He's got the headphones around his neck. The set comes with an extra one of those. Thank you very much. And yeah, uh, he's got his angry face, which isn't anything particularly interesting. But this face back here, I absolutely love. That is not the sort of face you very commonly get with like one of these themes like protagonists. Um... But it's cool, and it's cute, and I like it. Look at that, with like the blush and the smile and whatnot. Like, it's it's such a, it's such an interesting expression. I really like it. It's very cute with like the little, little sort of pink detail added for the cheeks in there. Really, really nice. Um, just so you can see the rest of the torso right there. And as you can see, the um, headphones attach like bow ties, collars, and large mustaches. So, yeah, Monkey Kid is a really cool minifigure. He's not exclusive to this set. He comes in that one smaller set with Sandy. Um, but, yeah, uh, I really like him. Um, I am very pleased these days with the lengths they go to making it so that the main character minifigures are desirable and interesting. I think that's really important. Um... It's just something I'm seeing between, like, Monkey Kid here and the two main kids from, like, Hidden Side and whatnot. There's a lot of personality and there's a lot of character in them, and I really appreciate that. It's quite cool. Um, puts a lot of the older themes to shame. I th I'm thinking of something like Agents or Mars Mission, where the characters basically just all wore the same thing and their faces were mostly generic and they basically had no personality to them. This is a really nice turnaround that they've done here, and I really appreciate it. Oh, damn it. May, right here, has a hairpiece. Hold on, I gotta go get it. Two episodes in a row with technical difficulty things. What a, what a, what is going on with me here? Um, anyways. May. She is quite cool. She's the obligatory cool girl side character who's, you know, don't need no man, whatever. Firstly, I just want to point out... Her weapon is quite nice in that she's got this dragon head hilt from Ninjago now in white, which is really quite cool. I really like that. That is such a nice piece to get in white. Before, we've only ever gotten it in gold. We got it quite a few times in gold, but now getting it in white is quite nice. I was really, really hoping that we would get an extra one of these in white, but unfortunately not. And then just 
Nexonite's blade on the end, end right there. And, yeah. Um, so she's quite cool. She comes in this and then the big boat set. Um, as you can see, she's got the uh, really nice jumpsuit on right there with sort of like the dragon detail, the slight sort of curve in there, and then she's got like the, the green. I like that it looks like scales, very fitting, you know. Dragon head right across the front right there, a little bit of knee pads right there. Unfortunately, no side of the leg printing or dual leg mold kind of blows. Um, back printing is nice. As you can see, you got the back tail end of our dragon sort of trailing up and then just sort of, you know, ending right there. And then it's just sort of, it's got a nice sort of gold sheen to it in there, which is really quite nice. The helmet is a helmet mold that we've seen several times before. It's just kind of the helmet that they use a lot of the time if they want to give one that has little antennas and then they just sort of print the detail onto the front. And honestly, it works quite f fine for her, honestly, giving off the whole Power Rangers thing. Um, looks good with like the eyes up there, still very dragon evocative, very nice, very nice. She's got a very pleasant face right there and then sort of an angry one right there. Um, kind of generic face-wise, not really too interesting, but still. And I gotta say a lot more than her helmet, I really like her hairpiece, which is really quite cool. I quite hope that we get it in just regular black or just other colors because it's got like the green tips right there which is cool we got the bangs got the two little buns uh, anyways really nice really cool very distinctly chinese um i really appreciate it i think she looks great without the uh, helmet on and yeah uh so very cool minifigure very nice um yeah so those are your minifigures interesting neat cool New themes are always so very exciting. It's always it's always fun when a new theme rolls around and you get to explore and experience all these characters and locations and things for the very first time. Can't help but to be enamored with it. Anyways, the set. <laughs> first off, we've got Monkey Kid's uh, board here. Um, it's cool. It's got like a bunch of stickers on it, as you can see. It's got like the monkey kid. It, it, it's actually just two stickers which have been applied here. Eh, kind of crooked. Come on, Rob. Um, two stickers. We got like the cloud up here. We got, I think that's the same symbol from his jacket. We got like, like another sort of cloud thing. What is that? A fist? Fight the power, monkey kid. And then a, like a, that same sort of smiling monkey motif. It's on the box and everything. And then, um,. What is crossed out right there? What is he prejudiced against? Bulls? Figures. Um, anyways, as you can see, we got four little turbines and a little jet on the bottom. These can be oscillated and then they can also rotate like that so you can sort of have them like fly it around. Um, quite a simple build, but effective and you can just take your monkey kid. I feel like he's got a, a different name in universe, but I haven't seen any episodes of the show if it's even out yet, so... I guess we'll see. Um, anyways, and he can just be on here. Looks like he's having the time of his life. Very neat. Very cool. I, I like that. Cute. Very cute. Appreciate it. Um, what to do next? We're going to save the best for last, so we're going to go with the ironclad uh, blockade here. Um, so, we've got a blockade, and it's got a little bit of a gate, and it's got a big fat sticker ramp, and it's got a gun, and it's got a little building. Um, so, yeah. I think that the poor color choice for the ironclad characters comes out particularly with this barricade that we've got right here. Um, huh, huh. Maybe we just start from the gun and move over. By the way, everything is detachable on it. Like, you can sort of clip this on on either side and same with, like, the prison area over there. Um, as you can see, we've got this little gun right here with the Nexo Knight's shield on the front right there. Stud shooters, got a little sort of control pad right in there with, like, a target. And as you can see, even the handles on there are bull-esque. Um, stud shooter, as you can see, underneath we've got, like, the riot shield piece, which the Nexo Knight's shield has been applied to. Interesting shield combination. And then you can take um, Bob here and you can just plop him in and he can, you know, try to shoot down May. It doesn't look that bad. The 
purple and the magenta and the orange and the sticker. It all looks kind of awkward. Then you got like two little yellow things right here. Really wish that they just weren't here at all or that they were purple or something. The yellow uh, mixed with all these other freaking colors. Like, come on, really? Um, yeah, and then you've got like this big whopping sticker right here. It's got a lot of personality. It very much conveys what they're going for. It's just a big fat sticker which is never really appreciated. Got more like of these Nexo Knight blade things. At least I think they came out in Nexo Knights. I might be mistaken. Maybe Chima, honestly. It might it, yeah, I think it's actually from Chima. My bad. Um can flip that up and flip it back down and yeah, that's really all it do. Uh, by the way, there's nothing on the back of the ironclad turret right here. It's just completely bare, just just empty studs. Um, then we've got shit. Um, then we've got like our little tower right here. It's got stickers with flames on it. Got this like big whopping piece right here, and sort of big pieces on the side. It's like a, just a big old black thing. Purple on the bottom right there, of course. Cause why not throw purple into the mix? Damn it. Um. Then we've got our magenta flags up here, presumably showing the ironclad, um, you know, symbols and whatnot. It's the same symbols on their torsos. And naturally, the little uh, flag holder has horns, and it's also attached by three of these monkey kid staff pieces, and it's cool to get them in like a gray, um, dark gray. Then on the back, we've got like a little prison cell. You can open that up, and there's a skull in it. Rob was quite endeared by that. Um, and then you got like a little eye slot in there. Um, presumably Monkey Kid is locked up. I don't know. So, yeah. this That's really all there is to the blockade. It's aesthetically kind of poor. But as far as like a side build for a set that honestly is mostly for the bike, it could be worse. Yeah, it's just not really much that's special. I don't really care for the fact that it seems like they've sacrificed aesthetics on the side just so you could like rearrange the pieces on it. Like... It's... Come on. There we go. Like, is it really worth it just to swap these around? Basically a different set. Incredible. Then we've got Maze, Bike, and this. This is very very cool. I love this, and this is excellent. Now you might be looking at this, and you might be thinking thinking to yourself, so, looks like we got a rejected Nexo Knights design in Monkey Kid. Interesting. And in saying that, you would be reading my mind, because that is exactly what it looks like. Between the combination of, like, the, the white and all the trans, and then the horse head at the front, and then this sort of, like, bend in the neck, and, like, the whole sort of way that it's designed with, like, the more... Uh, opaque up front, and then the trans running out the back, and then the stickers and whatnot placed where they are. It's all very Nexo Knights evocative. Um, it makes me think that LEGO is very <laughs> kind of salty that people didn't get drawn to Nexo Knights, so they're just like, you know what, if you didn't like Nexo Knights, well, damn it, you're still getting it, one way or another. Um, but yeah. I don't mind it, you know, it's it's very cool, it's very befitting for May. Um, as you can see, big fat wheel in the front, big fat wheel at the back, same exact wheel, both bloody times. We got uh, helicopter blades in white, just sort of up here as these flaps, and then we got the bigger helicopter blades in trans green, which is quite nice to get, and then we just got stickers right there. On the sides we got stud shooters, which works quite nice, they're just sort of on hinges, so they sort of fold down. Um, as you can see up at the front, like I said, very horse head, sticker, sticker, sort of little, the neck is getting fatter as it sort of trails into the body. As you can see, you got the handles right there, and then a nice old flap just sort of going over the wheel right there, and sticker once a freaking again. May looks good on it. I'm giving her a helmet for this. Safety first. Bopity freaking boo. It's very congruent with her aesthetic. She just kind of sits on there like that, and presumably her sword can just sort of be attached like that, uh, which works quite nicely. Um, it looks great. It rolls nicely, obviously, uh, uh, except for if your finger slips this, then it'll it'll grind against that wheel. So you kind of just gotta 
angle it appropriately. I kind of like how that <clears throat> faintly kind of looks like the horse tail. It's cute and it's nice. They encourage you to fold these out and to fly. Like, um, okay. Underneath each of the flaps, you, like there's a red one on the back and a yellow one on the front. Yellow, red. Um, and th apparently this is how she can fly. It looks goddamn ridiculous. I don't know why you can't just have someone with a bike. Like, I, whatever. It also looks silly because that, like, exposes all this technic and whatnot, so it does not look good. Just keeping the flaps down, that, that, that's just what you want to do. Not to mention this. This. That's about as aerodynamic as a... As a tortoise, I don't, I don't know. Like, how is this gonna catch any wind? I like, I don't know. Is, is it like a dragonfly? Is that how it flies around? No, it just kind of shows it like gliding through the sky. Strange. There's not even like a thruster at the back, which makes me think that it would like fly forward or anything. And even if there were a thruster at the back, the way that these are shaped would make it fly slower and catch the wind rather than make the wind flow over it. So, listen, I, I don't I don't know that much about like aerodynamics and whatnot, but <laughs> I know enough to know that that wouldn't fly uh, very well, at least. Um, so, yeah, as the meat of the set, this is very nice and it's very cool and it's very cute and I appreciate it. <laughs> What a neat, what a neat little set. There's definitely creativity here, even if I don't necessarily appreciate the ironclad um, barricade and everything. I feel that the set was like worth it for Monkey Kid's board and for May's bike over here. Like they're both very nicely designed. May's bike in particular is really neat. I like the white and the green. It's such a neat color combination, and it's one they honestly haven't done enough before. If, gosh, at all. It looks great, and it works really nicely. Um, it makes for a very sort of brilliant, borderline angelic um, contrast to the ironclads, um, gunmetal, and magenta sort of thing that they've got going on. Um, I don't know... I don't really care for this color scheme. Like, as far as this barricade goes, I'm not impressed with it. I think they need to calm down with their colors. I think if they're going to be having the magenta and the purple and the black and the... I don't, like, the yellowish, goldish sort of stuff that they've got going on... Like, it's just, it's a bit too much. I feel like they need to just, like, rein it back a little bit. Like I said, this minifigure's aesthetic on its own is really not all that bad. The magenta against the gunmetal is perfectly fine. But it's when they start mashing in all this other shit with, like, the trans orange and, like, the deep purple and everything. Like, that's when it starts to get muddled and that's when it sort of, it sort of wrecks it, you know? I wish that instead of focusing on, like, a bunch of colors for the ironclad, they focused more on making it look like it was metal, you know? Giving it more, like, steel plating and every... and whatnot, you know? Instead of having, like, these flame decals and whatnot, focusing a little more on making it so that it's... The ironclads are ironclads, you know? It's, it's like covered in, in patches of sheet metal and bolts and whatnot, you know? I feel like that would be a better direction to go rather than trying to do like this flame thing and whatnot and trying to slap in all these weird colors and whatnot. Honestly, even though it's annoying that it's a big whopping sticker, that big whopping sticker is like one of the most aesthetically congruent parts of the entire barricade, but the barricade itself kind of stinks. Um, I can't really speak for the other sets. I don't like to speak for sets that I haven't held in my hands unless they look like undeniably horrible. Um, first order ATST. Which I still end up ended up buying. Whatever. Um, ultimately though, Monkey Kid shows promise. Um, especially through like Maze Bike and whatnot. There's definitely creativity here, there's definitely love put in, it is not Ninjago, it is nothing like Ninjago, it is a very distinct separate thing, the cultural divide between the Japanese Ninjago and the Chinese Monkey Kid could not be more stark, it's, 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 a, it's 
a vivid distinction, and I'm glad that they aren't just trying to, like, redo Ninjago here, that it it's definitely got its own identity, and I really do appreciate that. I get the feeling that when it comes to the villains, we'll get something more creative should another wave come along, but for this, they don't really impress me. As of right now, the best parts are what we seem to have going for the hero characters. I'm For the sets I'm buying, I plan on sticking to the hero's stuff, like the piggy truck and the boat and the monkey mech and everything, because generally the ironclads don't impress me all that much so far. But we'll see. We'll honestly see. I don't really know where I'm going with my purchasing of Monkey Kid sets. Um, like, like I said, originally I was just going to go for the mech and for the boat, but at this point, I don't really know. Like, I, I, I want the Pigsy truck. I don't know. I don't know. Ultimately, my goal is to get, like, all of, like, the main characters. Uh, like, the villains I don't really care about as much. But, like, I want to get Sandy. I want to get Pigsy and whatnot, you know. Um, but we'll see where all that brings us. So, I can say with... With some degree of certainty that we'll that you guys will be seeing me review another Monkey Kid set um, within the near future, I should say. Um, but yeah, so that's really all I've got to say about the White Dragon Horse Bike. The biggest problem is the price for piece, ultimately. And, but other than that, it's kind of a sweet little starter set that I think gives a nice sort of um, taste test as to what we've got going with this whole Monkey Kid theme, as it were. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll catch you folks probably in something having to do with Ninjago City. Very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. Uh, goodbye.